Compute services are one of the fundamental cloud services. And in OCI, you have a number of choices when it comes to selecting the parameters that are right for you. Oracle offers bare metal machines, that is, physical servers entirely dedicated to the user, or virtual machines. A virtual machine, or VM, is an independent computing environment that runs on top of physical hardware. This independence allows you to freely use a fracture of capabilities of a physical server without the need to pay for the whole box. Regardless of your choice, in OCI any compute host is called an instance, and you will see this term being widely used in our console. To launch your first instance, move to Compute Service and select Instance, and then click on Create Instance. You will see that OCI suggests an auto-generated name for your instance, but you can change it manually. Then you need to decide where you want the instance to be created in your environment, that is, in which compartment. The next step is placement. You can decide which availability domain you want your instance to run in. Then it's time to select image and shape. A shape is simply a pre-configured template of CPU, memory, and other resources required to successfully run an instance. The image is an operating system, or OS, which you want to run on top of your selected shape. Instance Creator has a sample image and shape configuration, but you can easily change both of these parameters. Click on Change Image to select all the images out of available list. Some CPU and memory configurations are not suited or available for certain shapes, and OCI is pre-configured to make sure you don't run into any conflict here. You can also easily change the shape of your instance. First of all, decide if you want to run a virtual machine or a bare metal machine. Then move to the CPU selection. You have a choice between AMD, Intel, Ampere and specialty shapes, including dense I.O., GPU and high-performance computing. Sometimes you might find some options which are great and unavailable for selection. This is either because the shape is not available, or it is outside of your tenancy limits, or it is not compatible for the image you selected. And with AMD shapes, you can manually adjust the number of CPU and memory. Moving on, you need to select a virtual cloud network for your instance to live in, or create a completely new one. The next step is SSH key generation. You can have Oracle generate the key pair for you, use your own keys, or ignore this step and create keys later on. The rule is we recommend Oracle generated SSH keys if you want to use Linux terminal or Windows PowerShell and generate them via PartyGen if you want to bring your own keys. Just remember that they have to be in RSA format. For this exercise, I am generating both public and private key and saving them on my computer. The last optional step is focused around boot volume, which contains your operating system. You can specify its size or encrypt it with your own key. We also recommend encrypting data in transit for additional layer of security and no additional cost for you. Another useful cost-free feature is OS Management Service Agent, which will help take care of all the upgrades and patches for your instance. Now let's create your instance. As you can see, your new instance is being provisioned, and if you scroll down to Work Request, you can watch the progress. At the top of the page, you have management options for your instance. You can stop it, start it, reboot, edit the underlying shape, or use some advanced options.